Today we're gonna to be talking about different PEMF devices. I'm gonna be sharing with you what I think the number one PEMF device is in the world. So if you're a clinic owner or you're someone who has the resources to afford the best of the best, this is going to be the best one. And if not, I'm gonna point you to an option that's going to be the best bang for your buck. And I'm gonna walk through a little bit about how each machine works and how to think about purchasing a PEMF device. Now, before we get into it, I'm Dr. Jay Feldman. I've been using PEMF technology for several years now. It is one of the technologies in medicine that I am most excited about. Research goes back decades, proving that PEMF is transformative in speeding up recovery after injuries, such as after surgery, ACL tears, fractures, but it goes way farther than that. PEMF devices have been proven be effective for depression, energy levels, and I'm very excited about the potential for actually increasing lifespan using PEMF. In fact, Tony Robbins speaks about it extensively in his new book, Life Force, where he credits PEMF at helping him get through the pain, reducing the pain, and actually helping him recover and avoid surgery. So whether you're watching this video because you're trying to increase your energy levels, general health, or if you're trying to recover from a long time at back injury, shoulder injury, knee injury, or maybe you just got surgery or you recently had a traumatic injury such as a fracture, and you're looking to recover fully and faster, this video is gonna be helpful for you deciding exactly which unit to buy and how to actually treat that injury. On my left hand side, you're right, this is the Pulse XL Pro. Now this is a more higher end unit. It is a high voltage PEMF unit. And on my right hand side, your left, you'll see a higher dose mat. And this one also integrates infrared technology into the device. This one's a little bit more accessible, running about 1500, whereas the Pulse XL Pro is several tens of thousands of dollars. I do have several friends with these units in their homes that they use every day. I use this unit every day now that I have one in my home. So if you do have a clinic or you have the resources, I definitely recommend going with a higher end PEMF unit. The reason is, and the big difference between these two guys, is the strength of the magnetic field that each unit is able to put in. Now the research that I suggested earlier that speeds up injury recoveries, I've looked into these studies and they do use a higher voltage magnetic pulse that you can really only achieve through these higher end units. That's not to say that the lower end units don't work. So I'm gonna talk about how each of them work a little bit and then what to think about and then hopefully we can decide how to either get you access to these, how to get you one, or to see if this one is going to be adequate for your purposes. So the first question that you're going to wanna ask when you're deciding which PEMF unit to buy is one, why are you using it? If you're using it to recover from an acute injury, like you just had surgery, or you just had a fracture, you just tore something, I definitely recommend getting a clinical dose PEMF technology. By clinical dose, I mean high voltage, something that's able to actually give you a medicinal dose of magnetic therapy into that wound, into your body. And to do that, I do think you need a higher end unit like the Pulse XL Pro. You might not need this exact unit. They do have some lower end models, but I definitely recommend checking out Pulse PEMF. They are the number one provider of these higher end units that are actually gonna be able to give you a full clinical dose of magnetic therapy, of magnetic pulses. Now, if you were recently injured and you're trying to use this to recover, you might not need one at home. You might be able to access one at your local clinic, at your local physical therapy office. Uh, so definitely ask them and see if they have a higher end PEMF unit that you can use three times a week for one hour sessions as you recover from that injury. And I'm gonna show you the settings that I use to recover from my shoulder injury using this exact unit. Now with that being said, I used this unit for a long time. So if you're somebody who's using this for generalized back pain, maybe you've had a disc issue for a long time, maybe you've got some arthritis in your back and it's not an acute injury, it's a chronic injury. This with the infrared may just get the job done and it's been effective for me for a long time. This is the higher dose unit with infrared, it runs somewhere between $1,000 and $1,500, depending on any promotions. And this one doesn't get up to the same level of magnetic field that the Pulse XL does. But even with the low voltage magnetic therapy and with the infrared, this will be very effective at helping you with your back pain at night. In fact, I kept this on my bed next to me for a long time. And I laid on this for about 30 minutes, pretty much every night before bed. It reduced my pain, I was able to fall right asleep. And infrared therapy is one more thing that has decades and decades of studies behind it to increase circulation. And it's just generally good for you and generally good for recovery. Now this one is made by Higher Dose. And this is one of the most popular entry level mats. So this is the one that I would recommend if you're dealing with a chronic injury, you're at home and you don't have the resources to invest in a Pulse XL Pro or a similar unit like this. Now this unit I literally just use before I go to sleep. I do about 30 minutes at night. I use this with the infrared on and it's basically got three settings. Those settings are essentially the pulses per second and the frequency. So different pulses per second and different frequency 
frequencies will essentially have different effects on the body. Now, the reason magnetic therapy works so well is because it penetrates deep into the body to affect at the cellular level. It also increases circulation, especially at the wound sites where you might not be having very good circulation because you just had an injury or you have a chronic injury. You're gonna wanna turn this one on about 20 minutes before your treatment starts. Give it some time to heat up for the infrared to start working. And this one also works with magnetic coils that are inside of the mat. Now, the coils are really the source of this mat strength. And same thing with here, but this one obviously has much bigger coils. It's what creates that magnetic energy. So give this some time to heat up. The infrared will get kicking and do about 30 to 60 minutes before you go to sleep. It's gonna be really good for decreasing your pain right before bed. And the infrared's gonna be really good for getting circulation flowing. You'll get nice and tired you pass right out. Now with this one, the Pulse XL Pro, if you're recovering from an injury and you're using this after an acute injury, a surgery, an ACL tear, a fracture, you're gonna wanna do about one hour, three times per week. Now this one has a few different settings that you can adjust, magnetic field strength, pulses per second, and time. Obviously the time's gonna be about 60 minutes. The pulses per second goes all the way up to nine, a little over nine, but once you get past about five pulses per second, it doesn't have time to do a full charge and give you a full blast of energy before it actually gives you that dose of of, of magnetic field. So I usually like to keep my pulses per second around five or six, just so I'm getting less frequent, large blasts of magnetic pulses. The magnetic field, the way that I like to adjust the magnetic field, because this one does get very strong. This one, you will not feel the magnetic field going through your body because it's low voltage. And in this one, you will, I guarantee. If you turn that magnetic field up to 50, you're going to feel it. And it's gonna feel kind of like a TENS unit. The ones that go superficially and make your muscles contract, you'll feel those muscle contractions. If you have it on your back, you'll feel it radiating through your front, you'll feel it pulsating, and your whole body will move to those pulses. This is not a TENS unit. Although your muscles may be contracting, the magnetic field is going all the way through your body as opposed to a TENS unit. It's only on the surface muscles that causing your muscles to contract. This is penetrating deep into your cells, deep into your nerves, deep into your organs. So I like to turn the magnetic field up until it gets just a little bit uncomfortable because it's a little bit too much and then I'll turn it down between five and 10, and that's where I'll try and sit for the next hour. If you're dealing with an acute injury, the Pulse XL has different options with pads like this that you want to isolate that injury. So for example, when I was dealing with a shoulder injury, I will sandwich my shoulder within these two pads, and I'm able to get two different treatments at once. So this one that I have on my back will treat my back, while this treats my shoulder all at the same time. Now there's a lot of different options for attachments, including really cute uh, pet attachments that you can use. So you can isolate a joint, for example, you can do a full body PEMF on, a, on an entire mat. So the options will really depend on what you're using it for. Acute injury at least three times per week for an hour, make sure that you isolate your injury. Now, if you're using this for general energy levels and general health, I recommend getting the full body mat. They have a mat that you can lay out on a table and you can lay on that table for about an hour at a time, about three times a week. Now make sure that you don't have any technology immediately near these pads because it is very strong electromagnetic pulses and it can fry your technology. Although knock on wood, that hasn't happened yet. All right, now, how do you actually get these units? The higher dose mat, you can go online to higherdose.com and order one of these online for somewhere between $1,000 and $1,500. Now, this is a more clinical level unit. You can't just go online and buy this. So if you're interested in one of these, you do have to talk to the company, learn how to use it because this is a very powerful device and you can't just buy this, take it home and start blasting your you and your neighbors with strong electromagnetic pulses. You can potentially hurt yourself. This can be especially dangerous if you're pregnant, if you've got any bleeding disorders. There's a few different contraindications for using this machine. Surprisingly, joint replacements and metal implants is not a contraindication to using this, this device, although pacemakers would be. So if you are interested in having one of these in your clinic or in your home, I do have a link down in the description where you can talk to the company and see if you're a good fit for actually owning one of these devices. And let me tell you, if you're a clinic owner, this thing will pay for itself immediately. There's very few things that you can have in your office that are reusable, that you can leave someone for 30 minutes to an hour. It's actually not too uncomfortable that people are looking for. People need this treatment, especially after acute injuries. People need to recover faster, and there's not a lot of great options for them to do that. I would actually equate the power of the Pulse XL Pro for injury recovery with the peptide that people are using right now for, for injury recoveries. So this is extremely powerful. It's something that I plan to use for the rest of my life. And I would highly recommend if you have the resources to drop 20 to 30 grand on a PEMF device, this thing will last you forever. And the company will take care of you. They've been unbelievable with helping me learn how to use it and supporting me through my journey. Now this unit right here is a great entry level unit. So maybe you just read the Tony Robbins book and you want to start using PEMF at night. Maybe you have a chronic injury and you think this might be able to help. I definitely think it's worth a shot. The risk of these is relatively low, especially compared to the potential benefit of using PEMF. 
the EMF and this helping you get out of pain as opposed to hopping on pills. If this can keep you off pills, then this video did its job a million times over. So check out this higher dose mat. You can pick one up for under 1500 bucks. It's a one-time fee. You can use this at night, and if it helps you get out of pain, this will be the best money you've ever spent. I'll also link this down in the description of this video, so if this one sounds like a better fit for you, you can go ahead and purchase this. And if you want the Rolls-Royce of PEMF devices, schedule a call with the company using my link. They would be happy to help you out. The link will actually tell them that you came from my page, so they'll treat you a little bit better. They'll treat you like a VIP. If you guys have any questions about PEMF, I've got several videos on my channel explaining PEMF, how it works, why the technology is so cool, a lot of the research that is used to back up these devices and this technology. It is one of the most exciting things happening in medicine as far as devices go. I think PEMF devices are really going to revolutionize post-injury care after fractures, after joint tears, and maybe even helping people avoid surgery for longer and hopefully get off pills as well to manage pain. Check these devices out. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, give it a big thumbs up and watch some of the other videos that I've created about PEMF so you can compare some of these devices learn how it works, and also be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.